Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Alia, and on my channel, I like to talk about things fashion and beauty related, all while showing my lifestyle a little bit. In today's video, I'm going to be showcasing curls queen y'all know if my hair is out and my hair look a little bit of a hot mess that means we're gonna be doing our hair today i have these 20 inches of kinky kinky straight clip-ins from curls queen and they sent this and we're gonna install them together this is the box this is what their packaging looks like it's super cute and it's pink and y'all know pink is my favorite color your clipping orders are always gonna come with this little baggie here that has a detangle brush extra clips for your clip-ins and a satin bonnet outside of the clip-ins that we're about to get to in a minute it does come with a thank you card and along with an order card that gives the detail about the clip-ins that you have as well as you guys can see with my roots y'all could definitely tell i'm due for a perm the last time i got a perm was five months ago the last time i got a perm was september so that is five months ago these clip-ins should definitely blend seamlessly with my hair if you guys don't really know the background behind curls queen their clip-ins are literally made to blend in perfectly with black hair, black textured hair. If you guys haven't seen my first video showcasing my Curls Queen clip-ins, it's gonna be linked in the cards right above my head right here. All the information for those clip-ins are gonna be in that video as well, so check that video out after this one. Here are the clip-ins. Their clip-ins are, wow. First of all, it feels extremely soft. The ends are always full, super duper full. I wish you guys can see how it really, really looks in person. She's that girl. She is, she is that girl. Okay, let's install these, cause now I'm excited. <laughs> and all of the clip-ins come with 10 pieces. If you were worried about them not being full enough, I promise they are so full. Prior to me trying Curls Queen, I had to use two packs of clip-ins, which is like 14 pieces. Ever since I came across Curls Queen, they come with 10, but I only have to use nine because they are so thick and so full. We're fine with the 10 pieces, I promise you. You, you are gonna be blown away by only using nine pieces if you even use 10 pieces good for you i'm i guarantee you're probably going to need less than that because they're so thick and full okay so i already have the clip in sectioned and laid out on the bed right here and i'm going to do a middle part so today i'm going to show two styles so i'm going to start off by sectioning the back off let me turn around so that way you guys can see okay so i have my hair my hair up and I'm gonna put this very first piece down. It's the piece that has three clips. I'm gonna go ahead and put that first piece down since it's like the shortest in the back. And I already flat ironed my hair, but typically when you're adding any clip-ins, I suggest flat ironing your hair first and then adding the clip-ins. So this is what it looks like after that first piece. You wanna make sure that your parts aren't too too thin because you don't want the clips touching each other because then it's going to be it's going to feel really uncomfortable so you want to make sure your parts aren't too thick either but also not too thin like, as you start getting more familiar with clip-ins too like you're going to be able to tell what's the perfect distance for each clip-in now i'm going in with the one that has five clips on it before i even put the clip-in down or anything like that i like to make sure that it's going to fit so i like to size it first before I actually officially like clip it in. This is piece number two and I don't know if you guys can tell how full this feel like looks. I keep saying feel but it even feels super super thick. And they don't feel uncomfortable too, like that's the thing. But I guess that just comes with you spacing them out properly and not putting them too close together. Another thing as well, if you guys are curious to know 
what the wefts look like this is what the wefts look like as well so that they're bound to lay really really flat and i'm just going to do the exact same as i did before and i'm also going to go in with the five piece well five clip clip in for the next section as well As you can see here, like I kind of took, I didn't take out enough hair right here. So now I have to take out a little bit more. Despite my hair being like straightened, my hair blends in so well. Four pieces left and let's see. For the front, I like to part it diagonally and then lay the track right here. Since I parted it diagonally, I'm just going to clip it right here, clip it in, and it's not touching the other clip. They lay so flat, I don't know if you guys can see. I'm going to clip this piece of hair away, add another clip right here curve it so that way it kind of like frames my face in a way I don't know how to explain it that way it looks full in the front if that makes sense this is definitely giving freshly blown out this is what the front looks like And I only have one piece left, like I always do. I never end up using all 10 pieces.
this is the end of the video i hope you guys enjoyed it you guys got this far so i i would hope you guys enjoyed it don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe to be a part of the family and if you guys want any details about these clip-ins all the details are going to be down below in the description box so i'll see you guys in my next video